Hey everybody, it's Jammer here, and oh my gosh, the freaking Nintendo Direct is tomorrow. It's like, it's like Christmas right now. So normally I'm going to be doing my, you know, Nintendo vlog where I put on the suit, I do my little directly thing to you guys, but I seriously have no time, and I, I really want to do a predictions video for this. So literally, it's just going to be me talking, and you're being looking at pretty much a blank screen. I just want to get my opinions out there, and I definitely want to talk with you guys about this, because I mean, it's freaking, it's coming out tomorrow, holy cow! So anyways, they say they're going to be talking about Wii U and 3DS lineup coming up over the summer. Which would be assumed that Zelda Wii U is probably not going to be touched on. And they may not talk about mobile games because they did specifically address that it will be Wii U and 3DS software titles. And of course, coming over the summer. So let's start off with Wii U titles and then we'll jump into 3DS towards the end. And I think, okay, I, I did talk about this in the Pokemon Direct. I think uh, Pokemon Tournament is definitely going to be shown off. Overview trailer, kind of like I had discussed previously. Uh, I don't think any plans for DLC again, like I said before, but I think it's just going to be kind of an overview, show us fans how the game works, and basically maybe how the multiplayer online is going to work, and, you know, again, reminding us that it is releasing, you know, in the next couple weeks. I think definitely going to show off Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem and finally freaking give us a release date. It's unreal. They've almost, like, forgotten that game at this point. So I definitely think they'll probably give it a little segment, show off maybe another just little trailer, and... I'm thinking we're finally going to get a release of the date, and it's probably going to be r like right before the summer hits, just so that if they have some big summer title, it's not over, you know, overshadowed, like this game isn't overshadowed by that. And also, with NX around the bend, like especially if they should be going to be unveiling it at A3, uh, they definitely don't want this game coming out afterwards or during it, because literally everyone's just going to completely forget about it. So it would probably make sense to release it just before whatever their big summer game is going to be, and... It'll get as good a sales as it's going to get. I don't really know. <laughs> so there, there are some other Wii U games. I mean, Twilight Princess actually is coming out on Friday. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, like, they, I guess they could talk about it. Just kind of remind us, like, hey, it's coming out uh, tomorrow, basically. So I, I don't know if it's necessary to actually show it off. It, they are saying, like, summer games, the ones that are a little farther out. Maybe that also nixes the fact that Pokemon Tournament is coming out in the, within the next week or so. So maybe they won't even touch on that either. But I wouldn't completely write it off, because I mean, it would just make sense to be like, alright, by the way, release this tomorrow, and show off just another quick trailer about it. Even though we pretty much know everything about the game anyways. So this is like, this is a big one. They're, they have to show off Star Fox uh, Zero. It's un- I mean, they did that delay, they showed off that one trailer that, I mean, it looked a little bit better than it did at E3. Other than that, we don't know anything about it, and... Uh, in the last Nintendo Direct, or actually, the one, the real Nintendo Direct, I did talk about, like, they should show off a lot of Star Fox Zero, they should get us amped and tell us this is why we delayed it, nothing. We got, maybe that's just a little trailer, and it didn't really, I mean, look, dear friend, I'll give it that, but other than that, I, I, I know there's been tons of rumors about it saying that it's in, like, development hell, they're saying that the controls and motion control schemes are, like, holding it back. They're not sure if it's being incorporated correctly. And from what I've heard from playtesters and people playing it at preview events, they are completely in a complete agreement with it. But the thing is, they don't want it incorporated in the first place. But that really is besides the point. There's also the supposed leak or rumor that um, it's actually receiving another delay and maybe won't even make it till like the end of the summer. And honestly, I could totally see that coming, to be brutally honest, just because, I mean, they did say that this is going to be covering summer games, so it is within the time frame that they were going to be talking about games. Um, I know they gave us that release date, but I, we might be receiving another please understand, and they might push it back again because, honestly... This game, I don't know how great it's going to sell anymore at this point, specifically with the fact that everyone's getting amped for the NX coming around the corner. I mean, Star Fox already has a small audience to begin with, and a lot of fans of the series don't even like this game. It, it, this game's looking like it's going downhill really quick. It's almost at this point, let's just shoot it out, stop putting resources into it, start working on the NX baby, and get it over with, you know? Of course, I'd want an actually good Star Fox game, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's almost... I don't want to write it off just yet and say it's already good as dead, but I mean, if they're going to just continuously putting effort and putting assets into a game that's going to launch on just the Wii U specifically, a console base with only 10 million units, it's like, is it really worth the effort as we're doing with the money for them to do that? I don't know. Of course, they want to be faithful to the fans and be like, hey, we promise this game's going to come out, so of course we're going to at least work on it, you know? But it, I don't know really what would be the best plan of action there. Um, the release date, I mean, it could still happen or it probably could be delayed as well i mean what do you guys think let me know in the comments
So they're definitely going to talk about some new Wii U games because, oh, that's all we know. This is literally those three, or oh, I guess there's Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics. But I mean, if they show that off, I mean, so many fans are going to be so excited. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, what character made it in? I can't wait for this game. It's not like it's like the fifth iteration, fourth iteration. I don't know. But that, anyways, they're definitely going to have to talk about freaking Paper Mario Wii U. If it's a real thing, if it's coming out this summer, I, I was so amped in that video, as you all know know so they definitely definitely have to talk about it if it's a real thing and definitely show us i mean i don't know if i'll truly expect a release date maybe they'll say like uh mid like some like maybe august or like maybe towards the end of the summer or something like that if it's like coming around that time i think i would kind of place it around there because not going to want to compete with the holiday games specifically with Zelda Wii U, and if the NX is coming out, I mean, that'd be, especially if Paper Mario is only coming for Wii U, it's going to be totally overshadowed. So it would probably make sense to actually do a fall release, maybe September, or maybe end of August, or something like that. It would, it, it won't have much competition then, and I think it'll do fine then. But anyways, I, if it's, if it's, if it's what we've been hoping, if it's got the party system, the turn base, and it's beautiful, glorious Wii U HD-ness, like, oh my god. Gosh, I can't, I literally can't, wait, I'm, I'm already smiling now, I can't even hold it back. Paper Mario Wii U, oh, they, they, there's been so many leaks from Nintendo lately, as you all have known, and it's been kind of ridiculous, we haven't got any official word on all this crap yet. I mean, they did, they did the Pokemon, Pokemon, excuse me, they did the Pokemon Direct, which, I mean, I obviously over-predicted for, so I think a lot of things that I did say they may carry over to this Direct, I am actually really, I, again, but getting full circle, I'm still really blown away that this Direct's actually happening. It definitely did need to happen, like a normal Nintendo Direct covering all of Nintendo's bases, not just Pokemon. It almost makes it kind of weird to think that why wasn't this Pokemon announcement in the Nintendo Direct? Maybe it's just because the announcement of the new gen itself was such a big announcement. Maybe they didn't want to overshadow the other stuff they're going to be touching on, such as the Paper Mario game or, you know, Star Fox Zero for that matter. So anyways, I want to quickly touch on the 3DS titles. Uh, they're probably going to talk about Bravely Second. Um, I know that's coming out within the next couple months. Uh, there's been some preview events, some people have been starting to play it, but as far as official stuff we've been seeing about it, it hasn't been too much. So definitely I think they should talk about that, at least show off a little bit of that. Then there's also Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, uh, that free Amiibo game where you can... Uh, I don't even remember how it works. It's, I think it's kind of like March of the Minis uh, with Mario and Sonic, or excuse me, Mario and Donkey Kong. So... I, I think they're definitely going to show off probably something about, around the, uh, something about that, maybe how that game's going to work, maybe, I don't know, maybe a launch date, uh, I'm not totally sure. Oh, and definitely, P Detective Pikachu, since he didn't make the Pokemon Direct, he definitely has to come here and definitely be shown off to being localized, because that was a huge thing that uh, I definitely, a lot of people thought that was going to happen in that Pokemon Direct. Obviously, that one was only for the new generation. And like I said before, a lot of things that I did bring over from a lot of the predictions from that uh, first direct, I definitely bring over to this one. So, Detective Pikachu localization is definitely a thing that should happen. Um, episodic uh, releases, showing off or doing new episodes, showing doing new, you know, basically new content and updating the game and new stories, and it's it's gonna happen. I de I definitely see that coming and. I mean, who wouldn't? It's it, it's un unreal to think that they put in that much budget into a simple ten dollar eShop game if they're going to keep it simply in Japan. Another 3D game game I do want to talk about that's pretty much just under the radar. Nobody even like remembers it anymore. It's Metroid Prime Federation Force. So many people were even pissed about the game even existing. They had the petitions, and you know what? I I did touch on it. I did talked about it actually. Oh my gosh, it was like last summer. That was literally the last time I even heard about this game. But I did talk about it then, saying that like. I did, ah, it, it hurts that this is the next Metroid iteration that's coming out, that as far as we know anyways, maybe there's something in the pipeline for NX, that'd be amazing, but who knows. Anyways, using the Metroid Prime, Fredder, Met, using the Metroid Prime like, name, I know it was really angering people and making them like, why would they use that game to promote this soccer playing game? I mean, but if you watch some of the gameplay, I mean, it's not too bad, it reminds me a lot of, um... Metroid Prime Hunters, and then that, I made the point to mention that if they just dubbed the game Metroid Prime Hunters 2, instead of playing as those chibi little Federation Force officers, you actually play as the other bounty hunters, Silex, uh, Weevil, you know, the rest of the crew, I think it would have been a lot better received, and it also would have been better received if they actually had a more mainline Metroid game alongside this sort of spinoff, 
But I mean, oh, like, the normal multiplayer mode where they're, like, you know, delay, or excuse me, they're kind of guarding a little base or something like that, and, I mean, that didn't look too bad. I mean, it, again, it looked a lot like Metro Prime Hunters, and that was a, that was a lot of fun. That was a really fun game, a very underappreciated uh, spinoff. So, I mean, they could have, and also, we haven't heard, seen or heard from this game in, you know, almost a year at this point. So it could have taken such a drastic change that we might not even recognize at this point. The soccer could be totally nixed, or maybe it's just like a tiny little minigame, not like a huge feature of the game. Uh, they could have got even, they could have even changed it to Metroid Prime Hunters too. Who knows? So honestly, as much as everyone hates it and like wants it to die, I don't think the project is dead. Definitely not. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of excited to see it again. I loved Metroid Prime Hunters, and I can't say it enough because I've already said it like four times already. <laughs> But it definitely would be really cool to see if, I mean, I, I have hope for it. I have a little bit of hope. And so that I think that's one of the things I'm kind of most excited for in this direct is Metro Prime, just to see what they've done with it, maybe if they change it. I'm not going to highs up too, my hopes up too high, just in case it's like, I'm going to be completely shattered and be like, oh my god, this is the worst thing to ever exist, to ever exist. So there's that, Metro Prime Metro Force, they're probably going to touch on that, maybe even a release date if it's coming sooner than we thought. So then, of course, they're probably going to touch on some new three or some 3DS games that we they hadn't even announced yet. I honestly couldn't even think of everything off the top of my head right now. Um, yeah, something. Because, of course, they're going to talk on probably some new Wii U games. Like, I say new as in multiple, but maybe just Paper Mario might be the only other Wii U game coming this year. I could be wrong. They could throw in another one. I mean, we don't know specifically what's going to be their big summer title, like the one right before. Uh, kind of like what took the slot of Splatoon last year, and the slot the, the the year before was Mario Kart 8. So there is that there is the the slot or the big opening in Nintendo's lineup, where basically like the big, you know, the big summer title that people play throughout the year, and then they start picking up new releases towards after the summer. Like we still don't have that game, and it's not even really announced yet. So perhaps there could be something we don't even know about, something we've all wanted to slide into that uh, slot there. So. There's probably, there may be something like that, and then, of course, they may announce some other 3S tiles. But, I mean, I, I'll wrap it up. Paper Mario, if they show that off, and if it, I am so excited. And if they crush my dreams with, like, Sticker Star Amiibo Festival, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to seriously just lose it. Okay, I won't lose it, but I'll be pretty upset because, ah, Paper Mario is such a great series, such a great game. Or, not a great, uh, the series has been going downhill. But Paper Mario, end of story, they got to show it off. Uh, they got Star Fox Zero, Shimigata Tensei, you know, those 3DS games. I think they're definitely going to show off that stuff. I think this is going to be a lot more meaty than our Pokemon Direct was. And I'm, I'm definitely excited for it. It's it, Like I said, it's like it's like Christmas. I couldn't even believe it when I woke up today. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. What do you guys think about this Nintendo Direct? Are you completely blown away that it's actually even happening? What do you like, think is going to be shown off? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to give this video a freaking huge like. And hey, you should subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, I do a ton on Nintendo. I mean, tomorrow, once the Nintendo Direct airs, I'll try to do a reaction, or excuse me, an impressions video. I'm going to be slammed busy, though, so I'm going to do my best to get one out for you guys. And then, of course, throughout the weekend, I'll probably touch on some more specific games if they announce anything unreal, such as Paper Mario. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. See ya.